Hi, I'm Bob Shrump, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, this is Napoleon Bonaparte. Right. And today we're going to show you the single best treatment you can do for AC joint pain or acromioclavicular pain. So what are we talking about here? Well, that's a lot of words, it. isn't it? Uh, yeah. The clavicle is the collarbone. Okay, so that's this right here. I'm actually going to lean him forward like this. Yeah. How's that, Brad? How, yeah, how does that look? Lonnie? Okay, we've got the collarbone, and it attaches to another bone right here, which is the acromion, and it f forms a joint right there. Now, the acromion is nothing more than part of the shoulder blade right. or the scapula. But this is the pain, and we had a video, I'll probably put it up right here, on how to test whether or not you are having acromial, you know, AC joint pain, if yeah. it's positive. Now, one of the simple tests is just to bring the arm across like this, yep. and it hurts it, up in that thing. A lot of people who are having trouble with push-ups or bench press mm -hmm. may feel this. So this is the uh, simple treatment you're going to do. There's others, and we'll talk about those. But right now, the first treatment you want to try is you're going to take your hand, and you're going to follow along your own collarbone. Let's say it's the left side. You're going to get to that joint, and you're going to put one finger over top of the other, and you're going to rub, because there's a ligament there, and you're going to rub this way. Here, let me do it from this side. Okay. Here they come. I think your arm was in the way, Bob. So here we get to the joint, that finger there, the other finger on top, Don't so that you can get a lot of pressure down, and you're going to work it this way, okay? And it's going to, you're going to find out that it's hard to feel where that joint is yes. a lot of times, but you'll know because it's going to be the tender spot. It's usually the tender spot. Mm -hmm. and you, you know, so if I'm doing it on myself, I'm going to follow along on the collarbone, and I'm going to find, I, I know where it is on me. Mm -hmm. And so here again, I got my finger right on it now, and now I'm going to put the other one top, and now I'm going to rub. And it's sore. Uh, was your sore? No, uh, mine are... Uh, oh, this one is sore. And I, I do have a little trouble with this, especially if I do too many push-ups mm -hmm. or if I, if I work the chest muscle too much. So I'm going to rub for... And actually, it's feeling better already. Um, Good. When you start rubbing, if it starts getting worse and worse and worse... That means it might be too tender to do that. You might have to ice it for a couple days sure. first. Yep. But if not, if you do start doing this and actually starts to decrease a little bit or even feels numb, that's a good sign. Right. That's and that'll usually, usually happen within 30 seconds. 30 typically. seconds to a minute, yeah. Yep. I mean, you can tell pretty quickly. Now, you can keep doing this for a couple minutes, maybe even up to five if you want, but your, your fingers are going to probably fatigue mm -hmm. before you get that far. Yep. And... You can do it every day or every other day. They aren't they're real clear on some of this stuff. That's right. how often you want to do it. Uh, you want to make sure you don't do it to the point where the skin breaks down. Right. I, I've seen that before. But if you can do it, you know, it's a nice one to do because you can do it just about anywhere as long as people don't stare at you. <laughs> but this, this is a, actually, this feels a lot better on me already. This, this actually, it's, it's kind of stunning sometimes how well this works. Right. So um, this is what I try. Now, if you've separated your shoulder and, and you know, it's sticking up a little bit, you might have to receive a mob, a mobilization, or a manipulation from a chiropractor or from a physical therapist. Right. So, and we, we were talking about that. We just felt it was beyond the scope of what you could try on your own. Right. So we're gonna. Uh, unfortunately, you're gonna have to have to see someone for that. But I would try this first, and and see how it goes. You bet. It's just another fine idea that we're gonna continue to give you. So subscribe to us. Just keep clicking that subscribe button. Well, yeah. they don't let you do that, do they? No, you can only do it once. I, I click a lot on the computer. My wife gets mad at me. <laughs> I don't know. Auf Wiedersehen from the Germans. See ya.